Hey guys, it's Sniff, and we are going to be doing some event cards. We have the M62, the BL32, and I think RD, but I'm going to take a wild guess and say that I'm not going to use them really at all, even though it is one of the best RD cards. It's going to be using Fragger and Fletcher, as well as talking about this event, because, uh, I mean, I want to like it. I want to like the event so much. It has some decent ideas, but it feels like the rewards just aren't worth it for people who aren't willing to spend ridiculous amounts of money. And while I understand that Splash Damage is supposed to get their money somewhere, and how can they do it if not for overcharging? Uh, yeah, well, I, I don't know, man. Maybe I'm just a little bit silly, but I think that there are more ways to get more of the community involved and uh, more people happy with the events than what they're doing right now. So right now, in my opinion, what they're doing is alienating a really large part of their community. All the people who want to be able to play the game to be able to get event rewards. And now with the trinkets, they kind of made that okay-ish because you have that time to play. But the loadout cards are what people play Dirty Bomb for. It's not necessarily the trinkets, although, ooh, Founder's Trinket. So, I think that they're really missing out on a large, a, a large part of the population by, uh, by limiting the amount of event cards that are released. And I understand that maybe they're trying to keep them rare and exclusive for, uh, for when trading comes in, but by their own admission, trading is, like, so far away that they don't even know when it's going to be a thing. So, I mean, that kind of long-term investment doesn't make a lot of sense if you're going to be making more events where people just get disappointed because they can't get the event cards that they want. I mean, even someone who spent a crazy amount of money wasn't able to get something that they wanted, which was me. I spent a crazy amount of money on CW cards, and when I finally got a Fletcher, like 40 cards in, it was a Hollands, and it was just so disheartening. And I don't think people are going to value the cards that much if they keep having those bad experiences. Because, I mean, what makes a card valuable or not isn't necessarily only, uh, you know, the loadout, but also the event along with it. If people remember an event and having fun years back, then they're probably going to want to try and get that event card later on when they're playing the game. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I just think that there are better ways to uh, get people involved in events because I think the more people that have good positive experiences with events will be more willing to trade uh, for higher amounts and more often once trading does go live. And before then, anyways, we're supposed to be building an audience, right? I mean, that's what beta is kind of here for in addition to bug fixing and tweaking stuff, it's also supposed to be building an audience, kind of show you how the developer team views its own game, and I kind of feel like Splash Damage is doing a lot of crazy strategies that doesn't really give anyone a clear picture on what their plan is, or what their what they want to do with their game. I, I don't know what they want to do with their game. I mean, the expensiveness of the... Uh, you're not going to... All right. But yeah, how expensive the cards are makes me think that they're really not going to ever consider uh, chopping the cards into the weapons and making it on a non-loadout based system, which is uh, okay, I guess. I mean, I've kind of come around to the idea of using uh, not loadout cards because that sounds a lot more fun, and especially with how the game has been progressing balance-wise, I think having them split up will give people more chance to uh, have, I don't know, better cosmetics, I guess, do different things, more flexible, I guess. It's not anything in particular, just it's not setting yourself up to be inflexible right off the bat. Looks like my team is dead, though, so we're going to have to play it maybe a little carefully. I think I'm going to die, though, so... Uh, maybe not. Hmm. But yeah, so, I, I just think, I feel like all of these things that they're doing are setting themselves up to be very limited in the future with events. I mean, 
Now they, I think they've increased the drop time. I think they have increased the drop time for the event cards, the 100%ers, because I've gotten to, and I didn't get any the entire time that I was doing the CW event, but they haven't matched the drop rates with the other event for the trinkets, which is strange. Because isn't the whole point of you playing a bunch of time is for you to be grinding those 100%er cards? Maybe it's just me, but I think that, uh... There just needs to be some better project management or some time management that goes into these things. Kind of feels like it's just done randomly. I personally would have had the 100% uh, drop event go on as long as the trinket event is available because... Oh wow, did I just die to that? <laughs> because it's it just is good form, you know? I mean, it's it makes sense. People are wanting to play the game, and you're trying to incentivize them playing a game. Why not have a double incentive? In addition, allow people to get more cards what they want. And it's not like if people get too many of good cards that they won't be valuable. I mean, I have so <laughs> few repeats. I mean, in the grander scheme of things... The repeats, they're not that much. I have a couple of really good repeats, but even then, there's just so many people who, if they had a positive experience, I think would want to buy them, you know, and make trading an actual profitable thing. And, uh, I, I don't know, man. I, I just think it's too exclusive. And that's, that's pretty crazy coming from someone who's spending a lot of money on this game, but I really do think that there's a point where... There's just no incentive for my friends to join in on the festivities and have fun because they're just going to be disappointed. And where's the joy in that, you know? I mean, it's a game for everyone. Everyone's supposed to be having fun, not just the people who are supporting the servers. And while we're on that note, people are saying that a lot of oils pay for servers or whatever. I'm somehow a crazy amount of Nexon's profit margin or something because I spend a couple of grand. Guys, no, that's not how free-to-play uh, first-person shooters work. If you spend $20, they've won. That's it. That's what they're going for. They're going for as many people to buy uh, as much as they can. And it's not necessarily just the whales who contribute a large amount of that because not everyone... <laughs> Uh, well, is willing to spend as much as I am, or many people are. We're, we're really just the cream of the... I, I don't want to say cream of the crop, but uh, the cream on top. We're the icing. This kind of stuff, we're, we're rare. And while I don't think Splash Damage is catering to them, I, it, it kind of feels like they are. Like, to, to whales, it kind of feels like they're catering to whales. With the $35 option, giving you one pack... I don't think I want to take part in events. I, I've tried my hand twice, and I got lucky the second time, but overall, I, I don't feel like I've come out on top. And if we want to compound that issue with... No, I'm not going to get revived. With my friends feeling the exact same way, why do I want to partake in this event? Uh, and the only reason that I can come up with is that the guns look good. They do actually look really nice. I wish that there were more things to it, like I wish my Sticky Bomb had that skin, or my Detonator had that skin, but they say that they're working on it. Until that point, though, is it worth playing? I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, playing, sure, but I mean, buying the cards in mass. I, I don't know. I don't think so. I think Cobalt is pretty much the maximum that most people are going to be able to get. Unless the events are just supposed to be ridiculously exclusive, which I guess, but it just seems like you're missing out on a lot of people enjoying your game. So, I don't know. Maybe you guys have an opinion that I'm not understanding or I don't get a perspective on, because as a person with... A lot of money invested in this game. I understand that I don't necessarily understand what's going on. I don't really remember the struggles of having to buy all the mercs individually because even in Alpha, there was. Even in Alpha, I didn't have to buy any mercs. Those were all free, so. I mean, what what is the struggle down there? I'm kind of curious because I feel like I'm speaking out of a place of ignorance. You know, a lot of my friends, they don't necessarily buy cases either in. A lot of them, I don't know, just aren't that interested in these events that much. I mean, 
The trinkets seem to be pulling a lot more attention, but are the trinkets alone going to be enough? What are they going to do to have all, like... I, I'm just curious. I mean, the, the trinkets make me super curious. The, the trinkets in particular, I'm wondering what they're going to do long-term-wise for events. You know, are trinkets going to be the things that you can show off that are essentially achievements? I don't know. I'd like to think so, but I'm not sure. So, I don't know. I, I feel like I see snippets of genius with splash damage, but I also feel like sometimes those snippets of genius are just overshadowed by... Ah, uh, man, just some incredibly... I don't know if it's greedy, I don't know if it's stupidity, I don't know if their hands are tied with Nexon, but it just feels like there's not a whole picture being shown. Wow. And I guess that's the real problem that I really have with Splash Damage right now, is I don't know what the plan is. I don't know where this game is going. Which, whatever, a beta game, but as a person who will be spending money on this game, I'm not sure if I want to spend money if I'm not sure if I know what I'm going to be getting. Wow, that was beautifully smart, because of reasons exactly like that. I don't want this whole thing to just blow up in my face, because I decided to support the game devs, which... I know is a really big argument for people that, you know, you're spending your money on a game, you're getting what you're getting, but to an extent it feels like that's being crutched on, like, that's the only argument there is against having better events, is just too bad. So maybe, maybe I'm just coming at this the wrong direction or something. Wait, how low res is that? Oh my gosh. That gun, those little point things, were ridiculously low res. And that's the video for me. I hope you enjoyed it. Those were the thoughts on my events. I know it's not the best thoughts, but I really feel like this needs to be tackled sooner rather than later. <sighs> and I don't know how to tackle it, so I'm just going... <laughs> don't think I have any ideas on how to answer these questions I brought up. Just curious questions, so don't call the video off there. Just enough.